Welcome back! Day two of the Swiss stage. And with our first game coming up shortly, it is going to be Virtus Pro versus Aurora. This is 23 Savage's game to win. They gave him probably the strongest pick of the entire draft to be able to pick up his hero. I can tell. They actually pull it. Blood grenade committed. And they will indeed get the kill, and the kill will go to the mid lane here for Lorena. Yeah, the time dilation already leveled it up before even the time lock. Just considering you're going up against a bat rider as well, it's a great spell for this lane. Look at this again. He's found there by the free fire. It's so incredibly important to have that little bit of an extra damage oh. burst. Gee. In this case, done that, but our OP could be rolling in some distance. That's only very close to death. As they're able to pop the magic and get away, they will find the Dragon Knight. They've got two kills. One of them was a first blood, so I don't know if that really counts all that much. And the only other one was in that period where Monkey King had not have the Jingu Master. So I'm yeah. just still a little bit concerned. Is, do I hear a Chronosphere up on this top? Yeah. Do, They'll take yeah. any kill they can. But I'm sure that was like a level 10 talent ages ago. 23. And if we act with both as well, both is going to connect. Will we find the kill? Yes, they will. If we will pull. Killing the three first. He's got the haste room to be able to get away as well on Loranoff, so shouldn't be in too much danger, although 23 has to be a little bit careful with where he's positioned. Oh, again. Oh, that Chrono doesn't catch Captain G though in the back. But they will find the Pangolier. Yeah, they're making sure they're not alone either, which I like here too. Uh, jabs. So VP actually playing together, although, yeah. Jabs. He's got the boys behind him. He has to be very good. Jabs. Oh, gosh. Uh oh, he's blinked right into the team. He's going to be found here with the boat. The Glimmer is actually there. Good chrono. 23 here with a chrono spear. He's locked in place too. We'll find the kill on Marana. No, the mechanism. No. Able to survive, 23 now, not a lot of mana remaining, but he comes up, able to find oh, the Oh, this is a good egg. Split up, split up. Two, the Earth Splitter there, actually able to dodge the damage there with the main sheet. So, Kitty is actually okay, but the Sans coming out there, in return there, onto the faceless foot, they're able to find the kill onto the Monkey King. They're dropping it now with the Rolling Thunder. They take down 23, Jabs is soon to follow there too. But Sayu will be found, it's a 3 for 2 here. Getting closer, the Wisdom Rune. He gets that one, but... Uh -oh. oh no, this is not... Oh, this is the wrong place to be! They find him! Rolling Thunder coming in! The BKB did not have it himself time a time walk. walk. Jabs is to is still... escape there. It's giving them so much information, this ward. Yeah, they're gonna go for Q. Revealing in there. With the dust of appearance, they find the kill. Rubik down. That's two dead. So he's going to TP behind the rest of his team, realizing that the team have the delay potential for him with that Echo Stomp. If he wanted to, he could land it onto at least three. Oh, taking it in time there. There's the BKB there too from the BK. The lasso came out, but there's no follow-up damage here against Jab. The Savage is coming. In now into the back line. Serious affecting through the blue cross. Man has come out along with the boat as well. The Jab's attempting to flee there with the Yoga Seal token. So put to death that the Radiance burning it down to a crisp. They will lose the BK. In return though, they're trying to find Monkey King here. The Chrono Sphere will come out. We'll find the kill there onto the Monkey King. Though they will lose two here on Aurora. That's the Elder Titan dead. Loranoff in a tricky situation here. He was in the middle of a corner. He has been able to use that waning grip and blink away. He's on 140 HP. He's going to oh, the neutrals. Real, but the Swashbuckle will find him. The neutrals almost killing him there too. And Notice gets the kill. So in return for taking down the monkey, they lose three here on a roll. Considering going for the boys, he doesn't have a gem on himself right now. So he's just asking for them to come nearby, but he might get picked off first. He's okay for the time being. Lauren off. Stunned up here. Oh, silence! Breaking through the Lincolns. Torrent finds him, gets the kill on the puck. Jabs is in a good position again. How quick is his fingers? Smoke's gonna break though, the lasso's there. Bringing by the D. I mean, a little bit of misplay there with the Sacred Arrow. He will activate the BKP in the Overseal totem. He will get away. 
Meanwhile, Rolling Thunder in the back line here notices has caught himself. Q here on the Rubik as the Primal springs forward. 23 here, ready with the Chrono Spear. There it is. He will commit it there onto two. Manning is on the Pangolier. Pangolier dead. Is now trying to focus down. Unity support. Going to respect that BKB along with the Aegis there as well. 23 will back himself off. The buyback here from Q. He's just a little bit too tanky, I think. I have to take Look him there for it. Oh, yeah, Battle Strike. Lasso there as well. But a Four Chrono in. disrupting four. Do they have the stuff? The damage, the Earth Splitter is there along the Dream Cool 2. They're going to turn it around. Kiritich is going to fall. Jabs is able to survive. Time walking forward. They found themselves. Two Maran is going to fall. Squadix now attempting to flee here with the BKB. He does have himself a TP in nine more seconds, but they found him. Look at that. They got themselves the vision that they'll take down the Conquer there too. They lose three here on VP, and Aurora will come out on top. Put Jabs onto the front lines. Well, they're going to smoke themselves. 23. Ready with the Chrono, but it's going to be Jabs who initiates first, instantly taking down the Murano. The Rolling Thunder is there. 23, biding his time. Still ready here with the Chrono. Ready to pop it. Forward here with the Lasso. He could Chrono 3 here if he so wants to. Jabs will fall, though, within the Wukong's command. Here we come, 23. Wanted to try and find notice here. He's going to roll up. He's still okay, though. He's stuck in the corner. He will be your arrow. sacred arrow. Just able to avoid it. 23 is still okay. Has themselves the chrono still. Unable to oh. sleep on the Monkey King. Oh, the chrono! It doesn't connect! 23! A little bit of a misplay, but still nonetheless, they may actually find the killer here. What's a good coil? But they're actually going to attempt to turn it around here. Still surviving. There we go. He finally falls. But they have themselves the Torrent Storm. Able to help take down the Faceless Void. Down for 100 seconds. Both carries a gun. Ollie's very close to death here. But no push. Jazz with the buyback here too. Ollie is going to be found. A little attempt to buy back here straight away. You in trouble here. Is actually mashed by the Roshan. Take it out. Three remaining here on Aurora. But they won't go for the Roche. He doesn't want to reveal the fact that he does have this ability to have a huge impact, but he's farming underneath an Observer Ward right now. They know exactly where they are. Oh, he is. Here we go, Rolling Thunder. They get themselves the lasso there at the Faceless Void, but because of that side, DDS, they're going to be able to survive here as the boat comes in. They have themselves enough new damage to take down the Faceless. Down for 100 seconds. They're attempting to go for more here now. Jav's going to activate that BKB there and trying to flee. Aurora, they have to get themselves out. They don't have themselves this Faceless Void. Can VP find any more? They cannot. Free pick off here onto Sayush, it seems. Yes. He's able to claim it, although he's got a BKB of absorbed. Oh, nice dream coil. They have vision there too with the Gemma True Sight. They do indeed get the kill, but Aegis now in the hands of the Monkey King. That Savage has been playing around with. It's happening to put himself out onto the front lines as well. Debate Dragon Tail? Finds okay. an easy kill there for FNG. Grabs a gem as well. well. Lucky yeah. arrow. Doesn't land on anyone, but they know the direction they're coming from. Smoke's gonna break soon. Here we go. Rolling Thunder coming in. Dodge. Aurora are going to disengage here as this Rolling Thunder will expire soon. Meanwhile, though, they've got themselves a Dragon Tail. The health damage. Squadic, squadic falling very low. Actually able to heal back up there. The Wukong's command coming out. Ollie in Rumble able to survive, the Chronosphere comes out though, it only connects on the Zayu, 23 now, able to help find the kill there on the front right of it is, Five back as well as Ollie, trying to come back to the fight here, 23, he's alright, Q's in a bit deep, the time dilation there onto the Pangolier, meanwhile they call themselves the Rubik there, Q will fall, time goes still fine here, Has no this is doing so Wind good, will get himself back, there's only Double four to have fallen here at the moment. Without Chrono, I mean, 23 is hanging around. I think they're just waiting for Jabs to have that Elder Dragon form for the little bit of additional magic resistance that it provides. Put him onto the front lines, they've given him over a Lincoln Spear as well. That's a good thing, getting the BKB popped up nice and early. Yep. Yeah. Oh, oh no, they have caught themselves a Pogno the Sacred Arrow! Comes out, oh no! Fuck Valve, take it out! 100 seconds! The Torrent catches her and she blinks in! That is so unfortunate there for the Puck! It's now they actually may even find themselves Q here too, they will. It's a dieback. They may find themselves more Ollie. Possibly. Attempting to 
lee here with this Agnes. Fast up here, but in comes 23 oh, with the BKB. They're bashing into the Pangolin, but out comes the Wind Waker. They want to try and find themselves more. 23 going to back himself off here with the Time Warp. BP will only find two there, but notice is just so strong on this Pangolier, they can't take him out. These big heroes, right? We see, well, except Mirana, she's kind of little, but we, we see all this really high damage coming through. I'm hyped for, hold on, who's caught out? Going off. Oh, yeah, they've got themselves the both now. Are you going to be able to face shift there Magic in time? Clan. Just about able to avoid quite a lot. Oh, but stunned up again. Stunned up again. The, oh, the rolling thunder. Able to bash up the portal down for 97 seconds, but buyback is available. He's got the cleave, he's got the astral spirit hero attack, but more importantly, he's got the pirate hat. So plus 150 attack speed. He could really start to chunk down some heroes if they don't pay him in mind. For a bit of a greedy here. The Chronosphere comes out, they're attempting to try and take down the Pangolier. They will get the kill with the Chronosphere. However, Kiritich Rupert's is in. coming out within the base here of Aurora, finding Q. That is Q dead. Buybacks are available. There's Pangolier going to commit it. they try and come back to the fight here and take the base here from Aurora. Be a little careful with the trees. You, you have to be careful here. And respect the yeah. Wukong command soldiers. Okay, here comes the rolling thunder. Notice coming forward here. Okay. As a Wukong is going to be expected. Kiritich may fall here. The Dragon Tail's there. The Magic Style Illusions are going to find the kill. The lasso comes out, but it's caught an illusion. But not the right one. There's no 23. He's going to be four staff back here. The boat will connect. There's no follow up here from the side of Virtus Pro. They are struggling to try and find themselves a kill whilst this puck is down. Just hitting down an illusion because of how tanky they are. That I don't think it's going to be really worth it. It's noticed. Oh, noticed. Yeah. He has committed the roll. Oh, Chronosphere comes out though. So they have enough damage to lay through onto the Pangolier. Oh, just able to use the Wind Waker. Can he get away? No. He can die back. He is down for 120 seconds with no buyback. Gross and Dragon. Oh, that was a, uh, a Taurus. 23 caught there. The lasso oh. will not connect because of the Lincoln Sphere from 23. So in comes the Hex. Nice save there for the Talakinesis. And Jabs is actually going to see. They're trying to pick up Kiritich. Off and actually find Kiritich. the Monkey King here with the Dragon Tail. Kiritich is on his own here. The BKB there. The Wukong's command. Will he be able to heal up here with that Jingu Mastery? He's going to commit the Refresher again and try and find himself the Rax. He will fall here, but in return. He does find the kill onto Jabs with the Wound Pumps command. Meanwhile, Chrono. action is going to be happening on the bottom lane here. We've got ourselves a Chrono here on the screen trying to lay the damage here. Onto Squad X along with the Rider. Two Saiyans going to fall. Going to try and find FNG. FNG down. Four Vibax all available here for BP as they get themselves a team line here on Aurora. Just going to use it on the, the supports for now. Every Savage feels very safe to just continue moving on forward. No buyback used on jabs as well. Here, Titch was able to do with his sacrifice there. That arrow not here. Lasso. Caught the port. But as you said, when we, when we were speaking about it during the draft, there's no follow up. Unless you've got yourself an official play there on the Pangolin. That rolling thunder is going to expire though very soon. Not able to do much with that. Oh, he time walked into an arrow. I know, that was great. Oh, oh and Return arrow. Return arrow. Stolen arrow there onto the oh, play. Onto the Pangolin. Oh, Nullifier. he's able to actually dispel the Wind Waker there with the Nullifier! 23 gets the kill. Pango down for 90 seconds. Oh, this is not good here. They're going to go for the tier pause right now. Buyback's available on both Punker and the Monkey King. They do have themselves a glyph though here onto VP. They're going to try and lay as they drag? much time as they can. Can, can they drag they it to the base? Inside, Monkey King. The range. The buyback is going to have to be committed here for the Conquer. They come forward now. Monkey King alive. The BKB committed here on the 23. Able to find the kill down to Sayu. And that is two down here on BP with no buybacks. They can just get out if they can. Oh! It was off the mark with the Boundless. Didn't connect onto the Faceless Void. Aurora, they just seem to find a way in these late game situations. They draft for it. They give themselves uh -oh. that for the game. Oh, Squad X! That's why it's been the BKB, the Dream Call is there. 
Uh oh, the Earth Splitter. Splitter. Oh, able to dodge the Earth Splitter. Scottix. Oh, he activates the refresh with the BKB. He has to. He's trying to get back into the base here. He's going to force staff himself there. There we go. The Wukong's command will be out there. They're just going to throw him. They need to right now. They need to protect this. As they try to take down Jax right now. He's in the middle of the ancient. Can they take him out? The BKB is there. Jax is retreating on 100. Still have Chrono. Woo! The Chronosphere, it will come up there, trying to lay into the Monkey King. But they're trying to get the Ace in there for the Ace, and the Cliff comes out. He's able to time off back his HP, but it's found there by the Monkey King. Monkey King able to take down Lauren off there too. But he has himself the Rapier on Kitty Teach. The team, and he tried to finish the game there instead of hitting the Monkey King. Oh, it's understandable. They just wanted to test it out. They wanted to see if they didn't have that Cliff available. and. Surprising buybacks being used as well. Is he gonna go for the throne immediately? Oh, he smoked up. He TP'd out to the outpost. I think they want to go for a backdoor play. Okay, though. Even the CS stone not catching anyone. How is Nodus still here? Un unseen. <laughs> I mean, the only buyback available is on Monkey King. Here. 23 coming forward. He's just going straight for the throne. The lasso there, though, but they're gonna try and go for the end here on the side of Aurora. And they will get it because they don't have themselves the glyph. They will just end this game. Here. Game one will go to Aurora. The ward there from FNG. Lauren off rotating in though. Maybe perhaps they can get themselves another power rune here. Ready with full manners. If Ingin has himself the electric ward, the Ingin well, is there now. Going to commit it here on to Squadix. Squadix may be in trouble. Never mind. He comes forward with the squash buckle. Still dominant here as he finds himself due there too. Gets himself a double kill. Kill. Needs oh. to make every post a winner. Smoke play from three on DP. We try and find Q. Big Barrow connects. He's finding the kill there on the rim. The Baron comes out. They may have put themselves Lauren off. Rolling Thunder. Will it connect? Yes, it will. Along with that, instead, they really found themselves two here. On vertical throw against Morphling and. Storm they got to take out Squad X. Like to get off some new damage. Yeah. What here will be in. Well, all they match him. I get a kill here on Tango, and they will. We'll take him out. At least they find themselves something. We'll get themselves two kills here. Smoke up as five. Aurora will come out on top. And he's, he's going to. Really more. Oh, he's caught with the torrent and an arrow. Uh oh. Boat coming in. They find an easy pick off there. Actually, still rushing into the. Uh... Yeah, I on Q. A little surprise oh, yeah. that. Meanwhile, we got themselves an Orchid here onto Squadix and finding the kill there. With 23 joining in. Oh, Lorenoff got caught there. Oh, oh no, he has song. been caught. Song of Triple. the Siren. Oh, it catches three. This is going to be a big boat if they can find it. Lorenoff actually able to zip away. The freezing field comes out. They will lose both of the supports on the side of Aurora. Lorenoff. Zips the hell out of there. So let's on, on Dragon Knight because the, the AOE damage against uh, Naga Siren. Steel. Is, not something to disrespect though. Has the Lantern able to dispel the ensnare? It's been in now with the Inkswell trying to find no song. the Naga Siren. Is there we come in? Comes the Torrent Storm. Will that be enough to save Kimmich? Slowly falling. Where's the heal? Not able to get it off. The, the Breed Fire will find it. But they were able to take down the Storm Spirit. They want to try and find more here on Aurora Squadix. Oh, we got stunned up there. The, the PKP expired. Just as that ink swell had the stun effect there. Did, did you see that there? So they're going to go for a bit of a play of their own as they wait for the Aegis to expire. One second away. As jumping in. Oh, yeah, they are. Oh, on to the Pangolier. They take him out. Down for 50. They're on the aggressive now, want to try and find more. I mean, they do have themselves the Song of the Siren ready. They will commit that, but the Dark Portrait... Actually, finding the kill. Wait, the Dark Portrait's not affected by the Song of nope. the Siren? Do they want to go on jabs again? It hasn't really worked out too well for them in the past. Oh, you must shot him. Here we go. Oh, kids, it's just able to use the... the Mirror image there. They are attempting to try and take down Jabs there with a lot of damage there from the Bloodborne and the Stunlock actually able to take down the DK. DK down for 70 seconds. Only four remain here on Aurora. 23. Molten Gaz, uh, the Naga Siren here. And using the mirror image to split push. Portrait's up though and it's on to the Cognos. Oh, Siren comes out. It's up on high ground at least on Jabs, so 
Riptage shouldn't be able to connect in onto Ooh, all those stuns. Sacred arrow done. though. Nice force. Still okay for the time being. And in comes the rolling footer now. Zip forward. They actually find the Pugner in the back lines, maybe perhaps. No, still able to survive through it. There we go. Will finally. No, They're still alive. Few, more importantly. Beauty's falling very low. Will finally be found. Take him down there. Has the Aegis. Will be coming back alive. Another zip comes out against Zayu. Still living through it here with a Glimmer Cave. That's the second attempt. But Lauren off is oh, trying to find it to take down the Pugner. Pesky, pesky Pugner. What if he just got the gem? Got jabs, like just standing on the front lines, like he's been doing such a good job at. Even Lauren off with the shield rune is staying quite far back. Wanted to give his life up for free. Found him. Dragon Tail, though, is committed there onto the Nogasara. Meanwhile, in the back lines as well, they find themselves the Pangalir, who is deleted there. Lorinov gets the kill, but it was mainly 23 there with the insane damage being outputted here. As the Nogasara trying to get away here. He's actually going to zip right into on the Ooh, blood for Lorinov. It zips in and then he just deletes himself. Juriteach gets the kill. He's okay here, but they are going to attempt to try and seize this tier 3. Jab's completely healthy here also. That was um, an interesting play. Both the mid laners being taken out there. The best thing about this too is that Q has the ninja gear as well, so... Oh, the smoke's gonna break. They have vision. Dragon Tail there being committed onto the Conqueror along with the insane physical damage coming out there. Will they have enough to take down Notice? He's able to survive as they attempt to turn it around now with the Song of the Siren laying in with the Blood Form there onto the Morphling. And look at that! 23 was taken out! Not able to use the Satanic there is deleted. They find themselves three on the side here of Virtus Pro and only lose FNG. That is a victorious team fight for them. Hmm. I don't think so. <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Maybe, maybe a support. Oh. Well, again, they get themselves the back lines here. FNG along with the Pugner is gone. The cores only remain. They do find the support that Crystal made them down. The bottom came from Crystal Soul made Pugner. Tried to come back to the fight. They did have themselves that Soulbind there, which has had a massive disruption on Squadix's rolling thunder. He will commit the cheese there. He's back full HP, but a lovely song of the siren. It disrupts the rest of Aurora here, and they will attempt to TP out. Kiri Teach now with his own BKB and TP will get away. So they will just Ooh, lose the support they found here inside of Virtus Pro, but they found Sayu's themselves a the Pugner. This is going to be a dieback, as they do indeed take down Sayu. Down for 90 seconds. They will uh, attempt to try and take down the middle set of Rax here, slowly falling. They'll get it, there we go. They'll fall. 23, okay. Commit, like, everything in one of these games. Might be this yeah. And G, G granted the vision there. They're going to try and take down the Grimshro. Still alive for some time, but will be found finally by that Rolling Thunder. This BKB going to expire soon here on the Morphling. As Morphling being bashed up there by the Rolling Thunder. As they lay the damage, they find themselves two here into BP. As the TP cancel there onto Oli. Oli found also. They find three here on Virtus Pro. They're going to need to do something very shortly on VP. Mid lane's pushing. Oh, they found FNG. Onto FNG. Yeah, they'll try to attempt to find the kill. They will do so there indeed. Buyback is available. Rolling Flutter though in the back line there. Trying to disrupt Q. Does have him. Great Soulbind. Soulbind. There we go. Onto two is caught both Naga and the Pangalir here. As they're trying to find themselves. Squadix, they will be able to do so indeed. Song of the Siren comes out. Naga Siren will attempt to get away. They find themselves the Pugna. That is three down here on the side of Virtus Pro. You've got Jabs, able to sit in on the front lines. Transfer Illusions, if he really wants. Actually, they're going to look to commit for this? I'm not so sure I'd be feeling that confident. Not without that Song of the Siren or BKB up on Kiritich. To be able to deal with every single bit of this. Dagon is the right choice by FNG. I'm very happy that you went for it. Just needs to sell that freaking uh, Iron Branch. So, win. Lord Naga Siren in some Chorp Beat Hex. Up there, the Naga dead. Down 100 seconds. Buyback's available. Rolling Thunder coming in now, disrupting Lauren off. He is able to zip away at the Soul Bind once again, stopping this Rolling Thunder here from Squadix, but they're able to possibly find the kill here onto Jabs as Notice, able to take down Q. As long as the Siren there, they will lay into the BK. There we go, with the buyback from Gap. Not the Siren. They will get themselves to it. Now they're on the retreat. The, the Bash. The bash. Actually taking down Lauren off there. 
as you have seen, Arrow. the Endemic will be coming back alive, but the Sacred Arrow will connect. They find the kill there onto the Storm Spirit, and VP, they will defend. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, gosh. Okay, oh, here we go. Here we go. Here's an initiation. Oh, the bash there onto the Storm. Storm, is he okay? Yes, he is able to zip away. Squad is falling very, very low. Is he able to get back here with... Oh, they actually got the arrow there onto Storm. But he's still okay. He zips away. They have lost themselves. Their melee racks is 23 coming in now. He has been hexed up. Backed up there too. Will they be able to turn it around? It's Another the good Torrent. They're stunning him in place. They caught themselves the Conquer. The Song of the Siren. It comes out. It's caught themselves five. What else can they do with this? The Sacred Arrow. It will not actually connect there. They find themselves the Buckner. Buckner going to buy back. The Silence there on the Mobley. But he's just able to heal up here with the incredible damage that he's outputting here. Not a care in the world. He's going to go for the Tier 4. He finds himself one. One Tier 4 tower is remaining. Another Rolling Thunder. It's Krem. It's coming out now. Will they be they able want to find something here as the Soul Bite takes down the Darker Siren? Dark is dead. It's the buyback here right now. Soul Bite again. He's not able to get off anything with the Rolling Thunder once again, but the Age is going to bring back 23 alive here. 23 in trouble. He's been bashed up. He's going to activate the BKB. Satanic. The Satanic though. He will be fine as now he tries to lay into Squadix. Squadix dead. Buyback available. He has the buyback coming back. 23. No longer any BKB at all. Trying to find MNG here, but he has been they kill him? They're going to try and jump on to him right now. They have been able to find the Morphling. Three buybacks. Could we go here from Aurora? Nukis in trouble here. Slowly falling. Nukis is gone. Has the buyback available. He will come back. If they try to end it right now, they have themselves like Glyph. Squadix is down. No buyback. Only three remaining Jets is inside the throne. They're going to try and get notice here. Along with that electric vortex as the freezing field comes out now only one remaining got me beat that is gg as aurora gets themselves game two out of this best of three they will win this series